Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while, I haven't uploaded any video on the channel. So, uh, I thought of doing it today. Today, we'll be covering one of the very important requirement. So, uh, recently in one of my projects, I had a requirement wherein, uh, e uh, wherein the uh, integrations need to be triggered manually from the ESS job. So, uh, the requirement is as such that the users don't want to go into OIC and then trigger the integration. Instead of that, they want to do this activity by uh, using an ESS job. So, in this today's uh, tutorial, we'll be covering that scenario. First of all, uh, this particular uh, video won't be in hands-on, but I'll cover every aspect so that uh, and I've attached the screenshot also in the document so that it will be easier for everyone to understand and uh, uh, I think hof hopefully uh, this video will be useful uh, even if it is not in uh, hands-on but it would be covering every aspect okay so first of all we have created an app driven orchestration so we have created an app driven integration here and this is the endpoint and I have created an app driven integration and also added a query parameter so that we can send some uh, information to our integration and then uh, do the uh, downstream stuffs okay and uh, why I have made it as an app driven because I want a response because this integration will be called from an ESS and to call it from an ESS will be using a report okay and report wants a response in XML so we'll, because of that we have made this integration to be an app driven so now we see the uh, screenshot so basically we have created a trigger connection a uh, simple uh, rest trigger connection wherein we have uh, defined the information like uh, what uh, the resource uh, relative URI is there what operation we want to do and then I have selected to add uh, add and review parameters as well as the response so I have added the uh, review parameter so that uh, we can map our inputs okay and uh, we have defined the response so that uh, we can get a response from this integration and map that to a report okay so this is here so here in this uh, we are having that uh, query parameter and in the response so as I have mentioned it here that the integration will be triggered from the ESS job which in turns call the BIP report so the integration response should be in XML so if you see the response screenshot here the this is in XML okay so you have we have selected the response payload format to be XML and we have uploaded the uh, schema so I'll show you the schema this is the schema I'll attach the schema in the uh, description so that you can refer to it okay so this is an XML schema when I'm just getting the status you can modify the schema based on your requirement okay so coming back to our document so this was the first step we created the integration the second in step is to uh, link this OIC information to our Oracle Analytics Cloud okay Fusion Analytics Cloud so for that we have to go to analytics and then administration and then we have to go to manage publisher and we have to add our data source so our data source will be our information on the OIC instance okay so we go there and add so this is the manage publisher when you go to the administration page you'll be your page would be like something similar to this and then you click on manage publisher and then, then once you click on manage publisher our next window will open where you will select the HTTP connection and add the data source so this is that so this page will come you can give it a name you can give your OIC instance in the server your username and password I recommend giving your service username and password here and uh, you have to give the port information so here it is 443 uh, and then this is done you save it okay now the next step is as I was saying that this integration will be called from a BIP so now we have to create a BIP data model and report for it so for that go to data model and create a model using HTTP XML feed 
okay so your page will be here and your data source whatever data source, source like we have oic http this thing we have uh, which we have created here is you have to select that data source and here you have um, if you see your uh, endpoint uh, let me go to the endpoint on the top so this is our endpoint okay so till domain information we have defined the data source so whatever after that we have to define it in the data model okay so now let's come there uh, where is that screenshot yeah so here we specified the endpoint okay and whatever is there in the URI parameter will automatically come here okay so you add the URI parameter and then you uh, add the uh, you create the BIP parameters also and map it to it okay so we have uh, provided the URL suffix and uh, once we do that uh, we will have the uh, user input whatever our parameter over there that will be here and then you have to just map which uh, BIP model parameter you have to use once you are done with that you can test your uh, uh, data model so you'll get an output and once you are done with that so this is the output what we are getting from our OIC uh, from OIC yes then we create the BIP report so simple stuff of so creating the BIP report selecting the data which was visible on a data model and then saving it in the share folder okay that is an important because then only it will be able we will be able to access it this is done now our next step is so first we have created the uh, uh, our integration we have defined our data source then we have created our data model report and finally we'll be creating a custom ESS job uh, so you have to go to setup and maintenance uh, select the uh, financial because this is my financial uh, job so I selected that you provide the basic information of the what the display name and all you want and in report ID you give the uh, report path and if parameter any like we had a parameter BIP param so we have added it here created a BIP parameter here and then next so we are done so once we have created our uh, job we can save it and then uh, the next step is testing our solution so we can go to uh, tools and schedule process and then we can uh, test our solution so I have tested it and I have attached the screenshot also like you'll be able to uh, schedule the job you can schedule the job and then you can run it and you can also verify in the OIC instance and go back in the OIC instance and check whether the, whether the job was run or not so this was a very simple video how we can trigger an OIC job using custom uh, fusion ESS job Hopefully you would have liked this you, know, this, you would have found this video useful. If so, I'll request you to please uh, like my channel, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.